Hi, welcome for our RTL online trainings and placements. Now we are going to talk about global HR quiz, sixth one. Let's enter into the quiz. Now the first question is, we have security profiles. Which one is not the security profile in the below four options? In the below four options, which one is not the security profile? We have total uh, 10 types of security profiles, right? So out of that, which one is not the below one? Person security profile we have, which is used to restrict the person's data. We have country security profile to restrict country security profile. And we don't have any security profile related for business unit. We have organization security profile, but security profile name is not their business unit security profile. Transaction security profile we have. So the wrong answer means so the security profile is not there which is for which one business unit security profile so indirectly if we want to implement any business unit level security we are supposed to use the security profile name called organization security profile where we have to classify the organization as business unit right so this business unit security profile we don't have directly so this is the right answer now, which one is not the position type? So whenever we are creating a position, we are going to specify the type of position. And we have four different types of positions. Now, the question is here, in these four options, which one is not the position type? Which one is not the position type? Single incumbent, paid, praised, pooled. We have four options. So which one is not the position type? We have single incumbent. We know that which we will be using to hire only one employee for that position. Shared means uh, multiple people can share that particular position. Pooled means uh, we can hire multiple employees. Means there will be a headcount for that. Multiple people share the same position. We don't have any position type called freezed. Actually, we have none type is there. Freezed is not there. So this is the right answer. Which table contains the person name? Even though we are a functional consultant, some basic tables we must be very clear. Like person table, means worker table. And jobs table, positions table, locations. This is regular. Because uh, when we try to work in the front end, sometimes... We wanted to access some information from the back end. If you do not have the access to front end through reports and analytics, we have to write simple queries, not complex. Of course, technical consultant must go through that. All the tables, primary foreign correlation. Now here, what is the table contains the person name? I would like to access person name, means first name, last name, full name. These details I wanted to access. Which table holds these names? Is it per all people F? Or is it per person names F? Is it per person relationships? Is it per citizenship? Which one we have? Per person names underscore F is the table which contains all the person names. First name, last name, full name. We have all the details here. For all people, F also contains the worker information, but uh, we don't find the names. We'll find person ID. Based on person ID, we can find corresponding names. So this is the table holds the uh, names. Next, we know that in Fusion applications, once we add the data access, we'll be running LDAP process to synchronize the users and roles uh, information when we go for synchronize the users and roles information we'll run the ldap process what is meant by ldap is it a lightweight api protocol is it lightweight directory access process is it lightweight directory access protocol is it legacy directory access protocol so what exactly this Abbreviation, LDAP abbreviation. 
So we'll be running LDAP to synchronize the users and roles information, right? Then, so out of these four options, LDAP stands for this one, lightweight direct access protocol. Which role is required to create the users as well as the roles? We'll be creating the users, we'll be creating the roles and we'll be customizing the roles according to the requirement, we'll copy the roles, right? So which role is required to work with the users and as well as the roles, user management and role management, which one is required? Is it IT security console or is it application implementation consultant? Or is it a human resource specialist? Or is it IT security manager? Which role is required for you to work with the users as well as the roles? Now we required IT security manager. This is the role to work with the users and role. The moment when you add this role, user can log in and go to navigator, tools menu, security console, go to the users tab and go to the role step and manage all the information. So this is the correct answer. So these are the questions which we will be regularly facing in our global HR. Okay, thank you.